So today we're gonna do a workout video. You guys been requesting it and I'm like, let's do it, okay? So uh, enough said, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to warm up and we're just gonna do some push-ups and work out our chest. Um, this is something that I usually do when I'm working on my chest. I do push-ups just to warm everything up, get it going, and then I start my workout and uh, I think it's beneficial that you do the same thing. So we're gonna do three sets of 10, and uh, then we're gonna go into the workout. So the next thing we're gonna do is a kickstand row. And so basically what you're going to do is put weight on your front foot, and you're going to put a little bit on your back foot. You're going to do a little scissors. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to pull that elbow to your side. You don't want to put it out wide. Pull it to your side. Okay. And that's going to really get those muscles that we're aiming for. That's going to help us in baseball. When you do this, be controlled. I like to go up for three seconds and then down for three seconds. Up for three seconds down for three seconds be in control so you can really target those muscles don't twist your shoulders as i see a lot of young players do go up controlled down controlled and that's really going to allow us to hit those muscles to get us stronger So the next exercise we're going to do is the incline row. I really like this, and this is something that a lot of major league clubs do. Whenever you're working out in spring training, we always do this. Um, it's basically a staple in the baseball community because a strong back equals attack. <laughs> but uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to pull from you know, the ground up to our side and really isolate, you know, the back so that that back gets thick, gets strong and enables you to start crushing the baseball. So this is an exercise I highly recommend you do to get that back strong. So the next exercise is the incline dumbbell bench press with neutral grip. This is also a staple in the baseball community. Every, I would say three times a week, we would have to do this exercise. It's something I highly recommend you young players should do. So what you're going to do is put the seat to about 45 degrees. You're going to lay your back on it and you're going to put your heels into the ground. You're going to push up to the sky. But what we're going to do is going to be about 45 degrees with our elbow. We're not going to be like straight on our side. We're going to be 45 degrees with our elbow and we're going to push to the sky. Again, control the motions. Go up three seconds, down three seconds, up three seconds, down three seconds. This is really going to hit those muscles and and give you a little bit of burn. But that's good. You're going to get some strength and that's going to help you to get stronger and uh, anytime you get stronger, that's going to help you in your baseball game. So you might stop during the set. That's good. Just don't take too long in between while you're, you know, resting a bit. Take a few seconds and then get back after it, all right? So the next exercise we have is the suitcase carry. This is different from the farmer's walk. Basically, the suitcase carry is one dumbbell, and all you're going to do is hold it to your side and put one arm up, and you're going to walk. And don't lean over. Stay strong and really work that core and walk all the way to the end of a wall and then walk back and then switch hands and do it all over again. So that's really what we want to do here. This is working on the core. Okay. Keep that core strong. Keep it tight. It's going to really help you on the field.
Next up, we have the tricep push down. And I really like doing this exercise, something that is also a staple in the community. And um, it's something that you should take seriously. So we're going to do the tricep push down in this video. Make sure, again, you go down controlled and then up controlled as well. When you start going up, you're going to feel that burn. You're going to feel that burn, but that's good for you. And it feels good. And lastly, we have shoulder taps. And basically what shoulder taps is, is it's working the core. And what we're going to do is we're going to be in a push-up position. And all you're going to do is tap your other shoulder. You're going to be doing 20 total. So we're going to do 20 total, though. You'll start feeling that burn in your core. And right now, my core is burning. So hey guys, just finished the workout. It was a quick one, something you could do at home, something you could do at the gym, uh, very, very quick. And uh, it was just working your upper body and that includes your chest, your back, your triceps, and uh, next time we'll do biceps as well. And uh, also your core, something that's very important to, you know, crushing the ball out there. So if you're a player out there uh, and then you like this, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel. And I want to give you that free hitters log. It's a playbook that um, I use and I get to all my students, including the one you see in this video where he's running in the background and you could see him over here. I'll show him in a second, but you'll see him over here getting his work in. We have a double header today and he's still here getting his workout in um, before. So it's going to be a long, long day, but that's the dedication you need to get into the next level and uh, you know accomplishing your dreams so with that being said guys I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video